cancers also, in general, behave quite differently, and, and some cancers are easier to pick up than others uh, in terms of detection. And um, one of the ones that's sort of in my mind at the moment, because sadly we heard Steve Jobs passed away uh, earlier today, um, and he was a sufferer of pancreatic cancer. Now, pancreatic cancer is notoriously difficult to detect for a number of reasons. Sometimes the symptoms that patients come in with are not always the same. So sometimes you don't get any symptoms, and other times you get symptoms that mimic other very common conditions, you know, such as heartburn, for example, or um, other causes of abdominal pain. Um, and also when it tends to present and you do have symptoms, often it's too late and you've missed the boat, um, and none of the treatments that are targeted to it are really good enough because usually by the time it presents it's too late um, and surgical procedures are very very big and actually very traumatic to the person that undergoes it so you know there are lots of cancers that are not easy to to detect and we should be looking at ways of um, improving that how you go about that I'm, I'm not sure because you know it, it, that's a that's a really tricky one but but certainly that is one cancer that needs more publicity, I think. And, and as a profession, we ought to be looking more closely at clusters of symptoms and whether when you look back, much like with ovarian cancer, for example, where we now know that when a woman has ovarian cancer at the very early stages, they do have symptoms. For years, we thought they didn't. And maybe there's something like that that we can do for pancreatic cancer to sort of actually detect it earlier and help save lives.